Hello, I'm back again for more science in the water cycle. This is uh, the next reading passage for the lesson titled Water on Earth. Okay, um, so again, you can follow along with me or just listen to me as I read. The passage is available to you in the assignment that I created on Google Classroom. Just simply click on the attachment and you'll find the article titled Water on Earth. There are two kinds of water on Earth, fresh water and salt water. Most water on Earth is salt water. Salt water is water with salt in it. Salt water makes up seas and oceans. You should not drink salt water. If you accidentally swallow a small amount of salt water, it will not hurt you. However, drinking salt water when you are thirsty is not a good idea. Salt water will actually make you thirstier. Fresh water is water without salt in it. Most fresh water on Earth is frozen. It is frozen in glaciers and ice caps at the North and South Poles. We cannot drink frozen water. Fresh water is found in the atmosphere in clouds, water vapor, and precipitation too. We cannot drink this water either. Fresh water is also found in lakes, rivers, and streams. We can drink this water, but there is not enough fresh water in lakes and rivers for everyone to drink. We get most of our drinking water from groundwater. That's always very interesting to me. Groundwater is the water found below the Earth's surface. If you dig a hole in the ground, you will find a lot of dirt. If you dig through the dirt, you will find solid rock. Solid rock has many small spaces and cracks filled with water. Water seeps into the rock spaces and cracks from Earth's surface. Wells pump groundwater to Earth's surface so we can use it. Lots of interesting facts in that article about the water that's on Earth. So take a moment, you might want to reread the article before you get to the questions attached in the file that's on Google Classroom. But it looks like this, water on Earth. And as always, make sure that you're answering the questions completely. Make sure that you have complete sentences with capitals and periods. And if a word is spelled correctly in the article, make sure that you've spelled it correctly in your answer. Good luck to you guys, and we'll see you again soon.